Raja Aziz was a hero by the time I came into the bar. He had represented Tunsale Abbas in the judicial crisis and he was very much a legend and you could only see him from afar. And so I was quite surprised one day when I was told that I was to act as solicitor for a matter that he was doing. That case concerned an action by a shareholder in a company alleging that our client which was a company, had behaved in an oppressive manner and the person on the other side was a shareholder. I recall this event because it was a very difficult litigation and the lawyer on the other side was exceedingly aggressive. And I remember once complaining to Raja Aziz, what is this man doing? Why is he behaving this way? To which Raja Aziz said, our job is to save our client. We will do the best we can and that's the way he wants to practice the law. Don't you think we should show him how it should be done? Although the judge was being very difficult with Raja Aziz, Raja Aziz maintained a calmness that I find to this day difficult to believe. He was one of those very profound, quiet people who spoke softly, but it was as if there was a loudspeaker every time he opened his mouth because the moment he said anything, everyone would stop and listen to anything he had to say. So in this case, by the time I got involved, the previous solicitor had already been cited for contempt and there were more than 150 enclosures in court. It was getting more and more contentious and I was flooded with so many documents I had to have tabs for each one because I couldn't identify what was where. Eventually it came to the argument between parties and I think Raja Aziz wanted to file one more affidavit in reply to some furious allegations made by the other side. But the judge wouldn't allow it and insisted that Raja Aziz carry on. And when the petitioner had finished speaking, Raja Aziz rose and addressed the court in these words, which I have never forgotten. He says, my lord, this is an action under section 181 of the Companies Act, which says a shareholder of a company may bring an action against the company for oppression or for prejudicing the rights of the applicant as a shareholder. I wish to now address my lord on the first letter of the English language. And the judge said, I beg your pardon. And Raja Aziz said, the word is a. The section says, a shareholder. It doesn't say shareholders. If you look at the petition, my lord, you will see that there are five shareholders. And then if you look at the number of respondents, there's company A, my client. There's company B, another client. Company C and company D. So we have multiple shareholders suing multiple companies. And surely that is not allowed by section 181. And the judge looked at him and said, well, why don't you argue on the merits? And Raja Aziz very bravely said, I don't think I'm called upon to enter into an argument on the merits when the threshold question hasn't been determined. Uh, I've indicated this in my submissions. I would like my Lord to think about it. And the judge turned to the uh, very aggressive petitioner's lawyers and said, what have you got to say? And of course, he had something to say about it. At the end of which the judge considered the point and said, I'm inclined to agree with Raja Aziz and I will dismiss this petition. So ordered. What Raja Aziz next did made me nearly laugh, but I remained silent because it was the court. He turned to me and said, how was it? Hmm? How was it? I just looked at him and I smiled. That is one of those moments I remember Raja Aziz for. But there are many lawyers who will tell you different stories about Raja Aziz. In Tamil, there is a phrase called the Manasiga Guru, someone that you accept as in your heart as your teacher. And I accepted Raja Aziz as my Manasiga Guru. Guru means teacher. And I asked permission to sit in with him in a number of cases that he was doing so that I could learn from him because he was one of those leading counsel in commercial matters. This gentleman, Raja Aziz, had an English accent. It had a south of Watford twang to it. And when he spoke, he spoke each word carefully and he enunciated each word like this. He would say, my Lord, today's application is such and such. I am here to develop a point of law. And then he would 
develop the point of law. I was once in the Court of Appeal. Raja Aziz entered the court and the judges stopped hearing arguments and said, Gentlemen, will you please excuse us? And they look at Raja Aziz and say, Raja Aziz, you are in court. How may we assist you? Would you like us to hear you first? And Raja Aziz, being the gentleman that he was, said, I do apologize to my friends for causing a disruption. I beg your pardon. My Lord, I will wait my turn. I am so sorry to trouble you. And he said, one day while he was leading me in a case, I was writing notes for him in little yellow stickers and I would stick it next to his table in the upright so that he could see what I would written. He would take it, he would make a comment or two about it and then he would submit to the judge. One particular day, the lawyer who had opposed us was saying things which were not in the affidavit and they were not true. And I remember turning like this to Raja Aziz who was sitting on my right and I said, this is not right. I remember him putting his hands on my shoulder saying, I do not want you to move your shoulders. I do not want you to distract the judges. Let him say what he wants. We will know how to reply. Do not distract the judges. It was as if the whole world had opened up and I had fallen into a hole. And that is the thing that I remember most about him. And ever since then, when I go to court, I will always tell my colleagues who come with me never to say anything rude to the judges, never to respond rudely to people who appear against us, even under tremendous amount of provocation, to remain calm and settled. And that is what Raja Aziz taught me. And it's my dearest hope that I do some justice to his great name. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe, ring the bell and make your comment. Goodbye.